Hello everybody and welcome to London, England. Now there's fewer things I love in the UK more than an English breakfast. Literally every ingredient on there is just destined to make an amazing dish. However, and I think this happens to a lot of people, they usually just stick to the cheaper, you know, like regular fry up of an English breakfast. So today I wanted to change things up a little bit, trying cheap to expensive English breakfast food. Finding if the cheaper, you know, like greasy fry up is better or the more like gourmet restaurant style place. Now I was so hungry last night at around midnight that I went out and I started the tour early. Okay, it's just about midnight right now and London is absolutely popping. I don't know about you guys, but for me, I sometimes get this, this weird craving for a big kind of breakfast at night. And at first I was like, ah, there might not be a place open. I know in Europe, like places, they close earlier. But then I found a place that serves one of the best English breakfasts of London and they're open 24 hours a day. Can I have uh, the traditional English breakfast? Bye. Bye. Have a good night. <laughs> it's funny slash weird slash just awesome to be starting this video at midnight. But anyway, I'm starting off with the medium priced food. In this English breakfast, we have an egg, an oven baked tomato, mushroom, baked beans, black pudding, sausage, ham, and toasted bread. This thing is massive. Oh, English breakfast, how I have missed you. That is the flavor of London, of the UK, of the UK. The only complaint I have, it might be because it is taken out. The bread is a little bit moist, making for kind of a soggy mess. Something that's different about an English sausage on an English breakfast is if you just take a look inside there, you see seasonings, you see things like lining the sausage there. And with that, it doesn't only have, you know, a meat flavor, it also has consistency, it has depth to it. Mm. Which to be honest in a sausage is incredibly rare. Now I've actually never tried black pudding and for those of you that don't know black pudding It's basically like pork blood made into this little patty here Okay, oh wow wow Wow, okay the taste metric on this changed literally from the first second it entered my mouth to about like the 30th second. At the beginning I was like, eh, this is a little bit weird, it's pork blood, and honestly the first taste in my mouth was not good. But then after chewing it, then like really diving into that flavor, it's really good. I honestly just tasted like 20 different flavors. This is slowly becoming my favorite thing in this English breakfast. But the one thing that I have to say is eating this black pudding for the first time, it's honestly changed my taste world. After a nice long sleep, we're back at it for the cheap place. And for me, and I know I'm not English here, but I believe like a traditional English breakfast comes at just a cheap like fry up of a place. Everything on an English breakfast is not necessarily the most fancy thing in the world. It's just you throw it into a pan and it's just a fry up. And the place we're going to right now is personally one of my favorite English breakfasts of London. Can I have the full English breakfast? Full English? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so I'm here at Cafe 338, which literally is a restaurant that vibrates the neighborhood feel. You see, this is like a 12 table restaurant with a kitchen that is basically open face. So literally the eggs, the toast, the coffee, it's all made within a very close distance of each other. I went with their full English, which has beans, hash browns, sausage, mushrooms, an egg, fried ham, toast, and of course coffee. But this meal is absolutely massive, so let's dig in. Oh my God, that hash brown. There's few greasy foods that I love more than a hash brown. And this one is absolutely perfectly made with having that like brown crust on the outside and an absolutely super, and I mean super moist center on the inside. I'm in love. Now the next thing that I want to try is the grilled ham here. Absolutely incredible. You know, I usually start off with the foods that look best on the plate. And the ham usually, to be honest, for me, I'm not that big of a fan of in an English breakfast. But this one caught my attention with that like really nicely grilled outside, which made for a great flavor of kind of like a grilled like barbecue-y taste and also that like fatty like normal ham taste. Now the sausage itself looks to be a bit of like a gnarly looking sausage. Okay, now I'm usually a fan of sausages, but this one in particular, it doesn't, it doesn't do it for me. It's just really a sausage that's been fried and there hasn't been too much work done on it. Which totally, I understand this is quite a cheap English breakfast for the size of it all. Next up is possibly one of my favorite things to do in a breakfast normally or English. The breaking of an egg. That is without a doubt the funnest thing to do while eating a breakfast. 
yum. The first thing this breakfast I ever had in London was back in December. And at first I absolutely hated, like I didn't know why you would eat beans in the morning. But then everybody started commenting like, Bobby, why would you eat the beans alone? Eat it on toast, eat it on toast. People even took it a step farther and said, eat it with the ham as well. So to kind of grow my understanding for beans in the morning, I'm eating it with toast and also a piece of ham on top. Wow, I'm actually, I'm actually seriously surprised at that. When I bit in, there was this like bit of tremble, like, oh, I remember how this tasted alone, especially in the morning. Like, I like baked beans, but in the morning, for me, at the start, it just didn't make sense. But now it's almost like a bit of like a sandwich. It's a bit of a mix of flavors. You have this sort of sweet, almost like broody flavor of the bean. And when you combine that with like the starchy, like butter richness of that toast, it makes for kind of an overall mix of flavors that it just, it works. So when you do eat an English breakfast, just don't ask questions. Just eat the beans with toast. And if you're feeling a little bit adventurous, the ham. So one of the most important things in an English breakfast is just the overall meat quality and how the meat is made. And at a cafe, the meat, it's sometimes just not anything to talk about. It's not anything like really special. But you see the expensive place we're going to right now, it's not a cafe, it's a steakhouse. Hi, um, I have a reservation for Bobby Brisket. Okay, so I'm here at Hawksmoor Guildhall. Now the reason that I'm here is because they specialize in their meat. So on the plate we have plum pudding bacon, sausage made from pork, beef, and mutton, black pudding, two fried eggs, hash browns, grilled mushrooms, roast tomatoes, trotter baked beans. Holy cow. Now, seeing that this is a steakhouse, I was pretty excited to taste their sausage. And this thing honestly just did not disappoint. If you take a look at the outside there, it has that perfect char combined with a casing that also looks like it's seasoned to perfection. Like, I honestly don't think I've ever seen a more beautiful breakfast sausage before. So in terms of the baked bean, they seem like there's extra ingredients inside them and it's just not like baked beans thrown on a platter. So so, I'm gonna try them. Nope, still needs toast. There's something else in them. There's a lot more sugar, there's a lot more seasonings, and even though they did go the extra mile to make these beans more unique, to be honest, I don't think that they're better. Now, okay, this meal came at 16 pounds. And in terms of like a normal English breakfast standard, this is quite expensive. And although the meat was amazing, the bread was homemade, it's in a steakhouse, or an everyday thing, or even like a weekly or monthly thing, I'm gonna have to side with the cheap place. From the vibe to the overall delicious, amazing food, 338 Cafe, no doubt in my mind, definitely 100% came at the best value.